Welcome to another Ask Sendler. Now in this little workshop, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add submenus and menu items to your dynamic header up here. So this is an incognito window, so I'm not logged in. And these are my menu items, okay? So I'm going to just minimize this and come into the actual site and go into one of my pages. If you're using a dynamic block throughout your site, you don't need to edit each individual page you just need to edit the dynamic block and it will be rippled through all the other pages. That is the benefit of using a dynamic block. If you have set up your own header menu, you'll need to make sure that you copy that code across to each of the pages um, so that it actually gets copied right across. So let's go across to here and let's go to settings, go into menu, and you're gonna see that these are our menu items here. So if I want to add a new menu item, I can just put something in here. I can just hit this little plus and I can go test top menu. And then when I can say here, it says visible to all. So visible for people that have logged in and also visible for people that just visit your site. Okay, so if I click down here, you can see that logged in this will only this menu item will only be visible for people that logged into your site signed in signed up for a course or signed on to your site registered logged out this will only show to logged out users and not logged in users so i'm going to leave it on all now i've explained that i'm going to actions go to go to link so under go to link here i can just put any link i like in here let's just do um google.com and down here you can say that it says open in a new tab so it'll open as a new tab from the page so this can be quite handy if you're going off site but you don't want to lose them from your site so if we turn that on there you can see that's that and i'm going to hit the save menu so now i'm just going to click save and i'm going to go back to my incognito page and we're going to view it so back in incognito i'm going to hit this and you're going to see that a new menu item has appeared there now if i click this it will open in a new tab and it won't find Google because I need to add HTTPS to it. So let's just go back to this page and quickly update it. Menu item straight down here. Also, while I'm at it, I'll make it all capitals. Test menu top. Okay, and we'll type in HTTP. So I suggest that if you're going to an external site, you just copy their URL. So if you're going to Google, you type Google in there and copy that URL. Let's click update to that and let's now save that and go back into our incognito window. Just hit this refresh. I'm just going to close this tab down, hit refresh. This will change the top. And if I hit it now, it will go through to the Google page. All right. So um, make sure that you do. So the best practices here is to actually go to uh, Google or if I go to google.com, just copy that whole link in there and make sure that you copy that into the actual page itself and that way you'll have a perfect link always check your links are working all right so you can see it's gone to https so that's copying that link exactly right so now if we want to create a sub menu item and this is important note here the sub menu item won't link to anything it will just be a holder for everything running underneath so as soon as I create a sub item, this little link and all this linkage will disappear and it will change to a drop down menu. Now you can select it here already if you want, or you can just let the system do it for you, but you need to bear that in mind. There will not be a link on that top menu. So if I click add sub menu, let's go uh, sub one. And now we can select an action, go to a link. I'm just gonna drop a hash in here just to prove the point to you. And we're gonna click save, okay? So now if I open this one up, you're gonna see it's changed to drop down. I've lost that linking to Google, okay? And that's because it's a top holder for the sub menu. Now I can add lots of sub menus in here, as many as I like, and I can link them to anything I want to in here. And now I have two items, I can carry this on, and I can click save so this could be good if you're saying my courses and then underneath you, you've got your different courses like learn Excel learn word learn whatever and you can have that in there so now if I come back to my incognito page uh, back here and close that down just refresh this 
you're going to see now we've got a little drop down so when I click this you can go to sub menu 2 sub menu 1 sub menu 2 and that's basically how you can create a menu system in there now I'm not getting into creating your own header menu up there you can do that via using blocks um, you can add new blocks in here and you can go and create new headers from these templates or you can create one yourself and then you can copy that code uh, that will be generated and you can paste that code into each of your pages so I firmly think that if you're going to do your own header menu you need to check it really well because when you start pasting it into maybe 20 30 pages and you've made one mistake you need to go back and copy it into all of the pages so it can be a real uh, headache um, to delete these menu items it's really easy we can just come in here we can just hit this little little deletion little recycle bin here so we can just get rid of this and get rid of this okay now as a note um, if you are doing any kind of um, going back on yourself using things like the revision history um, it will not update with the revision version histories that you go back it will not update this dynamic header okay so bear that in mind so don't think that if you come back here you can get it back to how it was because um, you won't be able to and guys if you think oh I'll duplicate this and I'll duplicate this same menu and then I'll change it here it will change here as well because they're linked all right so be very careful about that okay guys so that's how you can add menu items and sub menu items to your main header of your Zenless site